Ergo, in the West Highland Way, that's Ben oh. Evis, or part Ben Evis, at least the foothills behind me. Just got off the train at Fort William and walked along the road a bit and this is where, I guess this is where it actually all kicks off. So, yeah. But yeah, train up from day one, train up from Glasgow to Fort William. Had a nice blether with a nice lady called Hillary about everything from religion to race. Lots of taboo subjects there, but it was uh, quite interesting. Um, I'm halfway between Fort William and King Loch leaving now. I've been walking for about two and a half hours. I think it's about eight o'clock, but I'm gonna power on through to King Loch leaving and hopefully camp there for the night. So it's quite late. Um, haven't reached my target place yet. But this place is beautiful. Day three, halfway across, ran out for 1,000 square miles of pure wilderness. It used to be covered by a forest until it was deforested twice, once by the Vikings in the 10th century, and then once by the English and the Scottish in the 17th century. At that time they wiped out the red and wolves and the bears, so it never had a chance to recover. So that's my day three walk almost over. Came from just uh, over behind those clouds somewhere. Walked all the way up to here. And then um, I'm going to just go down, down there to Bridge of Orkey, get myself something to eat. It's still quite early, it's only one o'clock. And I feel like I'm going to keep on walking, maybe wild camp somewhere before Tindrum. Um, yep, yeah, Bridge of Orkey about two hours ago, marching on to Tindrum, uh, hopefully find somewhere to camp up for the night. So that's me finished, the end of day three, from King's House Hotel to Bridge of Orkey to Tindrum, where I planned to stay but I felt distinctly unwelcome, and along the road to this campsite, which I cannot remember, I'll write in the description. Day four, I left my campsite about an hour and a half ago and had to climb up into this sort of forested area. It's a big change of scenery from the other places I've been walking the last few days. Um, I'm just going to walk today until I can't walk anymore and then see how far I get. This is the Falls of Fallic. I'm off the River Fallic. Really beautiful. So I reached Inverarn in about half an hour ago, got myself a coffee and a baked potato. Thought about camping there, but I thought, nah, got a bit more energy. So I just kept on walking and glad I did. There's Loch Lomond. It's actually really beautiful to see it after walking as far as you've got gone to get here. This is Dunburn Bothy. It's awfully quiet right now. I thought about staying here tonight, but I've still got plenty of time left to get to the next stop. When people were arriving at Inverarn and like complaining about how difficult the path section was, I thought mm, it can't have been that bad, but probably the hardest path that I've done on the whole walk. So I'm still out walking. I'm much much later than I meant to be walking. Um, it's half past eight just now. Just struggling to find a decent place to wild camp. Inversnaid Hotel didn't really feel very welcoming to travellers. And uh, there's some really odd looking guys just coming up the hill towards me. I better go and check them out. Hi guys.
I don't even know what you are, but I'm a surprise to see you as you are to see me. Okay? You're beautiful though. Yes, you are. So after doing far more miles than I had planned to do, um, basically because I couldn't find anywhere decent to pitch my tent, I ended up at a bothy. So here I am, lit a fire, got some candles, very romantic. Um, the only person here tonight looks like it's going to be that way because it's already quite late. So the bothy didn't work out because um, it was infested with mice. So I had to get back into my tent, back out and find somewhere I could put my tent up. And because I was doing it in the dark, the tent got filled with midges. So now I'm in the tent with my midgey net on. So I think last night's the first full night's sleep I've had since I started my walk, probably mostly due to just being completely exhausted. But I slept probably straight from head to pillow uh, until about eight o'clock this morning. And I woke up naturally. I woke up with some big blisters on my feet, so it took me about two hours to walk three miles today to get to Rowarden. Uh, where I knew there was a place there I could stop to eat and sort myself out. So I stopped there for some lunch, um, got on some blister plasters, got some sports tape off some American uh, people who were heading north. Um, now I'm back on the road, I'm just heading to Valhalla. I think that's about five kilometres away. Um, and then maybe stop there for a bit and see how I feel before I decide whether I want to carry on or not. It's me just at the waterfront just outside Balmaha. Um, I saw Conic Hill leering over the top of it. So I'll go and get myself some tea and a cake and see how I feel. That's me in Balhama. Just stopped for some refreshments to get a wee bit of energy get a wee bit of blood back into my feet. Um, asked somebody about uh, wild camping after uh, Conic Hill. Apparently there's quite a few spots so I'm gonna I'm gonna head off up Conic Hill and then see what I can find. Otherwise I'm gonna end up with a, another long day and having to march until the darkness again. So leaving Balmaha I meant to take the forest path me just down off Conic Hill from the other side of Balmaha. Uh, found a decent enough camping spot. You can see that. It's right next to a little bubbling river so that will be great to listen to that all night. But I'm not gonna make the same mistakes I've made other nights and just go oh I'll get the next spot next spot and then end up miles and miles down the road and exhausted. Morning so hopefully this is my last day of walking. Uh, hoping to arrive in Malgai by before five o'clock. That'll mean to me, I did this walk in five days. I'm really getting the sense that I'm leaving the highlands for the lowlands today. It's Conic Hill. Loch Lomond. And the lowlands. Really slow going today. Each step's agony. Um, Stopped at this place called uh, Turn Up the Beat or Turn Up the Beat. It was good. I uh, had a wee curry. And now I'm just taking one step after another. That's the Campsie Fells up there. A lot of people go walk in there. Looks like Banner. It's me about two and a half miles out of Malgai. Still slow going. Um, I think it's about four o'clock right now. 
so I'll get there. Here we go. It's also Ben Nevis with the Devil's Staircase. Did that thing. <laughs> Got to Bridge of Orkey. Yeah, saw that. Glen Falle. Aye, saw that. Walked under Ben Lomond. I think I saw some Ospreys. Conic Hill, done it. Past them going. West Island Way. And here we go. Done. So I'm at the train station in Mulgai. Some say that this is the original start and finish for the West Island Way, so I'm here. So yeah, covered that as well, covering all bases. Um, train should arrive in about 10 minutes, take me all the way back to Edinburgh. And then, yeah, I'm done. It's been, I can't, yeah, I don't have any words. It was just amazing.